down here at the range today, I just learned a new technique from the father of the 44 Magnum, Elmer Keith, which is called shooting out of the notch, which allows you to make really long distance shots and still have an extremely precise sight picture. So I brought my CW9 car down and with this little gun, we're gonna shoot this little munchkin at 200 yards up in the hills, applying this technique and uh, hopefully we'll make the shot. To apply this technique, instead of using the blade of the front sight lined up with the top of the rear sight, I'm gonna take the dot of the front sight and raise it up so that it's out of the notch, but I'm still going to keep the front sight on my target. Bringing that front sight up like that is going to compensate for the bullet drop over that excessively long distance with just this little gun. Um, so if applied right, we should be making contact. Let's see how it goes. because you gotta run to make sure that, that is what I thought it was, and it was. Um, so while making this shot, from that distance with these, with these white dot sights, it literally would cover the entire target. You couldn't see what you were shooting. So using the Elmer Keith technique, you were able to raise it out of the back notch. I can't breathe. <laughs> out of the back notch, um, allowing you to keep your accuracy aim and also still see the target which is key because it was it was a hard shot not gonna lie um, but yeah it went great and Elmer knows what he's talking about and for such a small gun to be able to take that hit um, I'm very impressed with this all right guys be sure to like and share and I'll see you out on the range that was awesome <laughs> hey can I try that one yeah yeah let's do it with the 380 does everybody have eyes and ears Now this was eight double rounds with the Arsenal Firearms 2011. Second century double barrel pistol. In other words, it was 4,000 grains of payload sent down range in about five seconds. To achieve the same result with a single barrel nine millimeter pistol, we would need to shoot about 30 rounds with two changes of magazine in about 30 seconds. This is performance. 
The Beretta 92FS Inox Compact with Rail is developed with a discriminating concealed carry permit holder or law enforcement officer in mind. Combining the best characteristics of the proven 9296 series pistols with a compact package and adding a light rail, it allows for the utmost flexibility by mixing concealed carry handling with large frame firepower and features. The 92FS Compact is a traditional double action, single action, hammer fired semi automatic pistol chambered in 9mm with a 4.25 inch barrel. Made entirely in the USA and weighing 31.6 ounces unloaded, the pistol comes standard with two 13 round magazines. With one round in the chamber, this allows for the carry of 27 rounds of ammunition. Inox is simply a European term for stainless steel. A stainless steel barrel and slide, mated with a Type 3 anodized aluminum frame, all with a matte finish, combined to provide the ultimate in corrosion prevention and durability for years of hard use. Features of the pistol include an ambidextrous thumb safety, a reversible magazine release that can be mounted on either side, lanyard loop, and combat-style trigger guard. The standard Picatinny rail allows for the attachment of aftermarket accessories such as lights or laser sighting devices. Sights provided with the 92FS Compact include a fixed dot front sight and dovetailed two dot rear sight. Black synthetic grips and a radiused back strap give the user comfort and control when handling and firing the gun. Companies with a 500 year proven track record don't come by those credentials lightly. Beretta's trusted reliability and history of manufacturing and engineering excellence are evident in this gun's design, materials use, and impressive list of features. This is clearly a gun that will serve the user's needs for a lifetime. The Glock is definitely a proven weapon system. It's utilised by a lot of law enforcement and military agencies around the world. The previous weapon system was fully metallic metal, and this one's polymer and composite material, as well as hardened steel. So overall, I think it is lighter. It's also modular itself. You can tailor the hand grip itself, depending on the size of the individual firer's hands. Um, the more modern stuff that we're getting with magazine pouches, holsters, is making it a lot more unique to the individual. It's an easier weapon system to use in that heated moment when you potentially have to employ that weapon system knowing exactly where things are. You can have faith in your own ability and skills to be able to employ that weapon system effectively. I've been in a few years now, so I've been through the, the previous Browning and SIG P226. It's really good to see obviously, those technological advances and, and equipment upgrades for the Defence Force, obviously not only New Zealand Army, but for the Air Force and Navy as well. It all comes under that tri-service umbrella interoperability, making sure that we can all deploy as one and have all the same equipment, uh, which should hopefully enhance our military into the future. The CZ-75 is no longer the infant of modern firearms, but still should come with a sign that says, hold me and feed me. With ergonomics so perfect, it is nearly inexplicable. The CZ-75 never really ages. It is truly immortal in duty or combat applications. The high polish variation, which sits somewhere between Peter North and Tony Montana, is truly magnificent to look at. The word very should be added to the high polish description in the CZ catalog. A truly mirror polish finish that attracts fingerprints like an OJ crime scene, you almost find yourself hesitant to hold it and feed it. It is the ultimate in bling. Functionally sound and unique in design, the CZ-75 is copied more than a Marvin Gaye track. The slide rides inside the frame offers a near recoilless shooting experience, prompting you to do the opposite of Marvin Gaye's, gotta give it up. You seriously cannot put it down once you pick it up. There are no blurred lines on the CZ-75. With a $650 price tag, the high polished 75 is attainable for most and is worth every penny. Although some clones jam like a Bob Marley record, the CZ-75 plays like an MP3. It will shoot anything in any grain, in the rain, and without pain. 
So if you are looking for a beautiful pistol, inside and out, the CZ-75, in any finish, is sure to please. Even Piers Morgan would be impressed. Hi, I'm Julie Golub, captain of Team Smith & Wesson, here with the newest 22 LR from Smith & Wesson, the SW22 Victory. Now this gun is a lot of fun to shoot. It has a lot of heft with a stainless steel bull barrel, and it has a lot of other great features as well. Let's start with the sights. First off, it comes with fiber optic sights, both front and rear sights, and the rear sight is completely adjustable for windage and elevation. The gun also comes with a Picatinny rail adjustment so you can mount your favorite optic. The grip is very comfortable. It comes with a textured back strap and front strap, as well as removable side panel grips, so you can get that great grip you're looking for on the gun. It also has a textured magazine release button and an adjustable trigger stop, so you can get the perfect shot every time. Now one thing that sets the SW22 apart from its competitors is the fact that it's so easy to take down. Just one screw loosens everything up and you can take this gun apart, change out for an aftermarket barrel and easily clean it. The SW22 Victory is an excellent entry level target pistol. It's great for new shooters, youth shooters and women and it's also an excellent gun for steel challenge and even bullseye. The SW22 Victory has been tested for reliability with a variety of 22 ammunition and also comes with two 10-round magazines. Springfield Armory, the same company that brought point-and-shoot ergonomics to the market in 2001, is proud to announce the latest evolution of the polymer pistol, the XD Mod 2 Subcompact in 9mm and 40 cal. Put an XD Mod 2 in your hand and you'll feel the difference. Equipped with the grip zone, the XD Mod 2 Subcompact applies ergonomic science to every surface that touches your hand. Enter the grip zone. A set of frame features working in unison to optimize interaction between the human hand and the pistol. Within the grip zone, there are three distinct textures, each engineered for a specific purpose. Zone 1 features a firm anti-slip surface texture that enables positive hand-to-pistol engagement to the corresponding more sensitive part of the hand. Zone 2 is more aggressively textured while comfortable to the touch. This zone is intended to make contact with your hand where maximum friction is needed. It works in combination with Zone 1 and does the most to keep the pistol in place and in control under recoil while maintaining maximum shooter comfort. Zone 3 covers all other areas of the frame. This moderately textured surface supplements the performance of Zones 1 and 2. The grip zone doesn't stop with new grip textures. The recontoured slimmer frame and slide add up to a far more natural grip fill that has nearly twice the magazine capacity and is only two tenths of an inch thicker than single stack concealed carry models. The high hand grip relief and high hand beaver tail enable the hand to be positioned as high as possible toward the barrel bore, thereby greatly reducing the pistol's felt recoil. The no snag trigger guard minimizes possible unintended contact with the holster or clothing. All of these grip zone advantages are ergonomic features that you will truly feel. It all adds up to a pistol that naturally and comfortably stays positioned in your hand. The XD Mod 2 subcompact 9mm and 40 cal pistols also feature a low profile combat rear sight and a fiber optic front sight that give an intuitive and fast acquisition sight picture. A slimmer slide for greater concealability and more comfortable carry. 
The Posi Wedge slide serrations make racking the slide very easy, and the rearmost serration is more pronounced, so slippage isn't a worry. This is not just a gun. It is independence, balanced with responsibility. It is passion, forged by preparation. It is machine, engineered to art form. It is the point where repetition becomes reflex, where excellence becomes expectation. It is the reason you analyze your every action, your reward for scrutinizing every last detail. It is built for the discerning few who lay claim to the same warrior spirit that inspired it. It is the Legion series by Sig Sauer. So Kurt, we've had the SR9, we've had the SR40, now in 45 ACP we have the SR45. Yeah, Mark, this is the Ruger SR45. This is the latest addition to the SR family of pistols. All the same great features that the rest of the SR series has, but now chambered in 45. The thing that's really neat about this is that you've got a, an ergonomically superior gun in 45, very, very thin and very shootable. You've got a through hardened stainless steel slide mm -hmm. with a through hardened stainless barrel. We've got a glass filled nylon polymer frame and all of the controls, the important ones, are ambidextrous. You've got the D-shaped ambidextrous mag release, mm -hmm. you've got the ambidextrous manual safety with the up position being safe, the down position being the fire position. You've got a loaded chamber indicator. The loaded chamber indicator lifts up when there's a round present in the chamber. It also comes with adjustable three dot sights adjustable for both windage and elevation. It has a reversible back strap that can be turned around to either arched or straight by removing that pin and sliding the back strap out. And it comes with two 10 round magazines. You've also got a Picatinny style rail. These SR series have always been just fabulous for ergonomics. There's a little recess here for your fingers when you get a good tight grip on the gun, your fingers have a place to go. So it's just the most comfortable package and you'd hardly know this is a 45 ACP. This is 10 rounds, so it's a staggered column magazine, fits the hand very well, very shootable. So a great new addition to the SR line of pistols, the SR9, the SR40, and now the SR45, available at your local firearms retailer. This is the Caracol F. This is their full-size version. This is the gun that I use for competitions. I pick it up right out of the factory line and I shoot it and take it out there in matches. It's a seven inch slide. It rocks a four inch barrel. It's got a very smooth five pound trigger. Very, very clean break. As you can see, the way it's designed, the grip handle, it allows me for a very high grip on the gun, which allows me for better recoil management and it enhances my sight tracking ability. Also, the other thing that you notice here, it's got an ambidextrous magazine release, so left-handed shooters can, can use it as opposed to right-handed shooters without switching any parts. The best thing about this gun is that you can clear the gun, check the chamber if it's clear, drop the, the firing pin, remove the slide, take it apart by taking the, down these little levers. Slide off, and you can check everything in here, lube it up, clean it up, do whatever you have to do, then put the slide back on, and as simple as that, your gun is pretty much clear. And that's pretty much it, it's Caracol F.